up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to buy and sell Bitcoin using the Cash App. The Cash App is a simple app by a company called Square. So if you've ever bought something at like a local shop, they probably have that little thing on the end of their iPad or their iPhone that you swipe your card through. Anyways, that same company has an app called Cash. And the Cash app now allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to do that and also some of the positives and negatives to using this app to purchase your Bitcoin. Okay, so here we are on the Cash app. I have already signed up and logged in, so if you haven't signed up, I'll put my link for that down in the description. And once you've signed up, you'll come to this screen where you can request or pay people. You basically type in the amount and then hit request or pay. That's gonna open up your contacts and you're gonna be able to send it to people. But what we're talking about today is for Bitcoin purchases. Now in the top left, we can tap that and go to our profile. We can see that I have zero dollars in cash in here and about a dollar in Bitcoin. You can also get a custom card that works exactly like a debit card. Maybe I'll save that for a separate video. Let me go back. On the top right side of the screen, there's a little timer. You can tap on that and it's going to show your history. And all I've done on here is purchase $1 in Bitcoin. So it looks like it added cash to my account and then it purchased the Bitcoin. And if I tap on that, it's going to show the full history. I purchased $1 Bitcoin at 3 p.m. today. And if we tap on the dots on the top right, it's gonna say the exact amount of Bitcoin, the exchange rate, there was zero fee and it costed me $1. They might be charging zero fees by increasing the price of Bitcoin a little bit. Don't quote me on that, but I do think some companies do that. Now to access the Bitcoin screen, what we wanna do is tap on cash in Bitcoin at the top of the screen. And this is how we would add cash to the app. And then in the top right, we can go to Bitcoin and then we can just tap on the left, tap on the right and kind of cycle between these. But once we go to the Bitcoin, it's gonna say like what's happened, the chart over a year, month, week, and day. And it's gonna say how much your Bitcoin is worth up at the top of the screen. And then down at the bottom, we can hit buy. And then we have this slider to say how much we want to buy. I'll go ahead and buy another dollar. Hit buy. Activate my touch ID. Confirm your purchase of Bitcoin at an exchange rate of $8,013 per BTC. And then all I would need to do is hit confirm. And it's going to immediately give me that Bitcoin. However, I'm going to close this out. And if we see right here on the screen, we can see that the current price of Bitcoin is 7,910. And when I was just about to buy that, it was giving me a higher exchange rate. So that's how I think they're getting away with zero fees. There's something going on there. It's not a big deal, but there is something there. And if we wanted to sell Bitcoin, we would just tap on sell on the bottom of the screen. Then we can type, then we can type in 97 cents or however much we have and hit sell on the bottom of the screen and that would sell our Bitcoin. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the X. I'm gonna keep this Bitcoin for now. That's also a weird way to sell Bitcoin. Having experience in cryptocurrencies, you're never selling at like a dollar value. I'd be selling at this amount value in Bitcoin. So I'd be typing in the amount of Bitcoin that I'm selling. So they've got a little bit of clunkiness here, um, probably just because they're trying to keep it beginner friendly and use dollar values. But I'd like to see them add a little bit more detail in there. Um, so it makes sense like for the amount of Bitcoin you're selling versus the amount of dollars that you're selling. It's a little confusing the way that they have it. Now somehow I have a dollar in cash on here, although I didn't do anything. That's so weird. Seems like a little bit of a glitch there. So yeah, it said I added cash again, even though I hit cancel. So we've got some bugs here. Nothing major, but it is a little bit confusing. As long as I'm not getting feed for this, I guess that's okay. Keep a dollar in cash on here. Now the other big thing I wanna point out for the Bitcoin is that you cannot send your Bitcoin off of this app and you cannot receive Bitcoin from external sources. With any traditional Bitcoin wallet, you would be able to do those things. You would have a Bitcoin wallet address and you would be able to send Bitcoin from any source into your Bitcoin wallet within the Cash app. And vice versa, you would be able to send Bitcoin from your wallet on the Cash app to external sources. And right now we don't see anything like that. And this is a very early version of their app. I'm sure they plan to do a lot more with cryptocurrencies. Um, this is just the beginning. That's why these things aren't here. The bugs aren't worked out yet. They still need to make some tweaks. But that seems like the major thing that they need to add. Like this needs to become a real wallet where I can send and receive Bitcoin. So it makes me question the legitimacy of it. 
I'm sure it's fine because it's backed by a huge company, Square, and I'm sure they're working on these things. But those are just the issues that I see that I want to point out so people aren't blindly going in here thinking that they'll be able to do all of the traditional things that normal Bitcoin wallets allow you to do. But there you go, a quick overview of the Cash app. And there you have it, how to buy and sell Bitcoin using the Cash app by Square, as well as some of the positives and negatives to using this app for your cryptocurrencies. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I will try and answer those. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily videos on mobile apps, social media, tech, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.